it's 3 a.m. Uh, just waiting for my Uber pal to show up and uh, off we go to Phoenix. We'll see you when we get there. What down they vote? Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes on my shoot with fitness cover girl and author Tiffany Lee Gaston. If you're wondering who I am, my name is Regan Rogerson. I'm a producer director at 208 Inc. I've been a personal trainer, I've owned health clubs, sold over 1 million fitness DVDs worldwide, and produced creative content for some of the largest sports nutrition brands on the planet. My job this week, help Tiffany's YouTube channel profit and do it fast. I'm here in uh, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Talking to you as I cross through three lanes of traffic. Smart. In the next few minutes, you're going to see some behind the scenes of our shoot with Tiffany today, how we set up, how we film her, and how much we get done. At the end of the video, I'm going to come back and we're going to start talking about uh, where we're going with this and how you can get started. So stay tuned. So here's a little behind the scenes preparation. Uh, so basically here's the game plan in a nutshell. Step one, make good videos. Step two, make money sooner rather than later. Pretty simple. To turn a profit sooner rather than later, a YouTube partnership goes right out the window. Uh, it takes too long and you need at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Neither is just the patience for that and I wouldn't want to be solely dependent on that anyway. So we're not doing it. So that leaves us with a couple of options. Selling products to the channel and getting a brand sponsor. This is no rest. Uh, this is literally so if you're thinking to yourself, you who's gonna sponsor a new channel with uh, little to no following? The quick answer is no one in the right mind. But we don't pitch the channel like that. Our goal is to find brands who are interested in the content itself. 
Brands with bland social channels and poor social media presence who are uh, very sales focused and not social media savvy, uh, those are the ones we're going for. We're creating quality workouts here as well as some lifestyle vlogs and we want to infuse them all with our future brand partners products organically and naturally. So any brand that we partner with not only gets to repurpose the content, but they also gain access to Tiffany's large social media following on her other channels like Instagram and Facebook. So it's, it's a win for both sides. The sponsor gets fresh new content showcasing their products plus access to a new audience. Uh, and not to mention for a fraction of the expense they would have if they produced the content themselves. Tiffany, on the other hand, meets her goal of early profitability. And this includes having my services paid for. So she's making money and has a production company in her back pocket completely paid for. That's not a bad gig. As for the shoot itself, uh, it's a pretty simple two camera setup with a stationary master shot and a second camera for cutaways. I'm running both cameras. Here's a quick sample of what the final product's going to look like. morning uh, day two on our Phoenix shoot with uh, Tiffany Gaston um, just finished shooting the rest of the workouts she had 11 workouts in nine workouts yesterday two workouts this morning so that's enough content to basically carry her through the summer um, which was our point going here uh, we're gonna shoot a couple more videos at a CrossFit gym this afternoon which is basically just a way to uh, kind of compare how, how the videos do uh, most of the videos which you've seen in this video uh, we shot outside so very colorful and lots of greenery and stuff um, but uh, I, I don't know if people would gravitate more towards a gym environment so we're gonna kind of test that and find out that's kind of where we're at with with uh, with that channel is you kind of have to try new things try more difficult workouts try more basic workouts and, and just really see what what connects. Shit, I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> I'm trying to ignore the dog, the very large dog that's looking at me, barking at me right now. Um, I'm back in my Airbnb at the moment. Probably walked away from the shoot with about 14 videos, a photo shoot, and uh, some other small, like some video content and promos for uh, sponsors and potential sponsors that we're pursuing right now you know our, our client tiffany is uh one of our um one of our favorite clients to work with um she's she's doing a complete brand overhaul um and and of course the challenge of building a youtube channel from scratch is uh it's not easy um we have another client they had a channel that sat dormant which i think a lot of people have channels that just kind of sit dormant but this this presented channel they did nothing with it just sat there um finally about six months ago they came to us and, and wanted to start um building it i believe now they have about three thousand subscribers they get about 10 new subscribers daily thousand views daily they're they're monetized through youtube and they we just secured two new sponsors for them. So in six months, this channel went from sitting there to generating approximately $2,500 a month. As we go forward with the vlog, my, my intention is to start to break down step by step what you're gonna need from you know location, equipment, the pluses of doing it yourself, the potential benefits of having a producer do it for you. So we will go through a lot of that stuff in the coming weeks. A lot of that I'll shoot back at my studio. But uh, in the meantime, if there's any particular questions you have, comment below, contact me. My social media is all available below as well. Happy to help you. If I don't have an answer for you, I'll be able to find an answer for you. And I know a significant amount about the corporate side of things if your goal is to build this channel, merge it with brands and kind of marry it into a, a nice passive income. Um, I've worked both sides of that fence. My, my goal for you, is to make you not an influencer, but a content creator because content creation is the future of being a 
personal brand and an influencer or an ambassador or whatever you want to call it if you don't know how to create quality content and if you don't know what quality content is not from your perspective but from the perspective of the people who are going to pay you for products or services that's what we're going to talk about a lot so uh, cheers everyone enjoy the rest of the video and uh, i will check in soon